I'll share, I share what I want to share and we go off on, okay? Yes. We thank you for being here tonight. We thank everyone that's in the tabernacle. We thank you that's going to watch it, uh, take delay or live tonight. Uh, we love you. We appreciate you. Most important, God loves you. Amen. Amen. Uh, before I read a scripture, I want you to, I want us to go back. You, you remember the day that God saved you. I remember the day that God saved me many, many moons ago. And remember when you went to the altar, if it happened to be in a church setting or at your home or wherever it may be, driving the car or whatever it may be, remember how free you felt Yes. when you got up from that altar. You were so excited. And we that are charismatic or Pentecostal, full of gospel, whether it's denomination, whether it's independent, I mean, we just couldn't help but rejoice and shout yes. for what God did, did for us. Amen. We, we, some of us ran, some cried, some, some jumped, yes. some hollered, yes. uh, some sat still, some was quiet. Amen. And we, we were just excited what God done. But in our walk with God, even before we got saved, uh, we picked stuff up. We have a tendency of picking stuff up. And when I say by picking stuff up, we have a tendency of, well, I'll use one example. The Lord gave me this message on Monday, okay? Monday. And so, last week, I, I went fishing. Uh, and the day before I went fishing, I always cranked my motor up to make sure it's okay. And when I cranked it up, there was gasoline pouring out the bottom of the, mo the motor. And so uh, my neighbor and I were took it apart and found out it's a fuel pump. And I, I, I was able to get a fuel pump less than 20 bucks, okay, including tax, less than 20 bucks, okay. We replaced the fuel pump. So Tuesday, my neighbor and I, we're going to go fishing on my boat Tuesday. And what I'm, I'm talking about tonight is weight. Weight, things that we pick up. When we get down to the, the boat landing, we unload the boat. We're in the boat landing. We're in the boat. We got the boat in the water by 6.30 a.m. up near Hereford. Mm -hmm. All right? We crank, I crank the motor up. It, it starts. And some other, sometimes when you crank it up, it'll cut, it'll cut back off. Uh, that's something you have to deal with a car opposed to fuel injection. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it, kept, it cut off. When I went to crank it back up, gasoline was pouring out of the bottom of the motor. Mm -hmm. There's weight. Okay, that's weight put on me. If, if I, I allow that weight to be put on me. I, I want to share this before I actually read the scripture. I want to share with you tonight, okay? So now, uh, so now instead of running the motor, the gasoline motor, we're, I'm running the trolling motor, the trolling to go out fishing. Well, about three hours later, we get I, I, I get I get hung and we troll over to get my bait off the, the whatever is in the water. And, and trolling over, uh, we get hung on a log, the big motor. I don't have electric tilt and trim on my on, on my motor, okay? You gotta manually pick that motor up, okay? But I do have a lift, uh, a, le le a le lever, a lever that you can put on top of the motor and lift it up. I, I'm going somewhere with this, okay? Lift, to lift it up. So between my neighbor and I, we were able to lift that motor up and get off that log, okay? So now, yes, we're fishing, but yet I'm allowing what I'm going to preach on tonight, I'm allowing this weight to be placed on me, okay? So I got my mind on the motor opposed to the fishing. Well, after a while, as time went on, uh, my neighbor friend, he takes the cover off the motor, and we began to look and found out, see, in my mind, I'm thinking the fuel pump's going back out, a brand new fuel pump. So I'm allowing all this weight from the enemy, all these thoughts come to my mind. And we do that. Yeah. That weight be placed upon us. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it don't, so the weight don't have to come from a person. It can come from a person. But what they say to you or what they did to you yeah. uh, before you got saved, after you got saved. Yeah. I, the, the, I, I'm going to say it. The most hurt that Church folks get are from church folks. <laughs> Amen. 
How many people are not in church today because some, per se, Christian walked up to them and said something to them that should have never been said? Yes. Amen. Wait. And I carry that burden and wait around with that. So now, uh, so once it takes the cover off, I realize it's the fuel line. The fuel line's 44 years old, okay? So the fuel line that that was cracked and was split. Well, in the process of that, getting the cover off, we mess up one of the coil wire that goes to the coil and also the plug. So I allowed all this, what, what I'm going to be preaching on now, God gave the message Monday. This was Tuesday. Mm. Now, I can't run as fast as I used to because of my age. So dem as a demonstration, I can still run. Uh -huh. yes, okay? At my age, I don't mind telling my age of 72, I can still run. Yes, I can still jump, praise God. Amen. And I remember when God saved me, the liberty and the freedom I had. Now we're going to go to the scripture. Scripture is in Galatians chapter 5. I got other scriptures, but God, but God gave me this particular scripture while I was sitting here tonight during the praise and the worship. Galatians chapter 5, verse 7. And I'm reading from the Amplified version of it. You were running the race nobly. Who has interfered in, who has hindered and stopped you from heeding and following the truth? Wait. I pastor a church, I pastor several churches in Bart County. Three different churches, my pastor. But one of those churches, the individual in that church, he was in the National Guard. He was a first sergeant. He lived two miles from the church. And he would put 50 pounds of weights on his back and run from his house to the church. Or from the church to the house. Because getting ready for his physical training in, in the National Guard. He was a first sergeant, so he had to be set the example, if you will, for the people. Now, I just made a thing that I was running. All right? But we also want to go to 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. This is the, the, the main verse. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. The first four verses of this chapter is dealing with pastors. The first verse of chapter, of 1 Peter chapter 5, the first verse, Peter is even saying he was an elder. He was a pastor. Yes, sir. Even though he was a, a great apostle, he was also a pastor. Yes, but then in verse 7, it says here, mm -hmm. casting, what's the next word? The word? Oh. Casting what? Oh. All. Casting all your care upon him for he careth for you. Yes, now let me read the amplified version of that same scripture. Casting the whole of your care, mm. all your anxieties, all your worries, you. all your concerns, once and for all, on him. Mm. For he cares for you affectionately and cares about you watchfully. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. All right, Pastor, I, I need some assistance. Come on, Pastor Jerry. I need, need some assistance. I need you to pick that backpack up so I can put it on my shoulder. Where is it? Right here. Yeah, I'm here, man. Like I say, I'm not as strong as I used to do. I'm going through life. You can go back. I'm going. I, I got 25 pounds on my back, okay? Now. I can still run. <laughs> but I'm tired. I'm breathing hard. I'm still running. But I'm not running the race well. 
We are running a race for God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. But when we allow things to come upon us, whether it's from a person or, in my case, the motor on Tuesday, mm -hmm. we pick those weights up and we get burdened and bogged down. Running. Yes. Peter says, cast all your care, everything upon him. That's right. Release. Oh, it's easy to release a little thing. Uh -huh. But the one that's hurt you the deepest is hard to turn that thing loose. Come on, come on now. Preach. The one that the thing that's gone so deep deep inside of you. But he says, cast all. Oh, yes. If it wasn't possible for that to happen, it would have never been recorded in the Word of God. Cast all your care upon Him. Oh, yes. Boy, He cares for you. Yes. You that's been hurt by a family member, you that have been hurt by a spouse or, or, or even by your children, amen. Cast all your care upon Him for He cares for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Now I can take this back. I can walk. I can walk from here to Duck Through with this backpack, no problem. Now I'm not saying what shape I'll be in time I get get the Duck Through, but this is unnecessary weight that I have to carry. All right. Do you know that when when you fly, how many of all these raise hands you've, you've ever flown on an airplane? You realize that uh, that you're restricted on the amount of luggage you can carry on the plane. That's true. That's true. Now you can carry an extra bag, but you have to pay an extra fee in order to do that. See, so that's a certain amount of payload that they can put on that plane. You realize they, they're going to have uh, in some flights if they're if this will be a an extended flight, they're going to have food to feed you. Yes. They're going to have drinks to give you, water, uh, Pepsi, Coca Cola's, whatever. Uh, uh, and, and different things. Uh, they gotta have uh, water or sanitized things to, to flush the toilets. Come on. Uh, they got blankets, they have pillows, they have all kinds of stuff. But see, if you put too much payload on that plane, the plane will not get off the ground. Amen. If you put too much weight on a rocket that's going to outer space, if it's too much weight in that capsule, guess what? It will never break the atmosphere and get into outer space where it needs to do. Yes. Where there is no gravity, praise God. Yes. And many people are running this race, but not very well because they're carrying all this weight mm. around on their back. Amen. Mm. Yeah. Release it. Release it. Finally, finally, late Tuesday afternoon, uh, on the way back from fishing, we stopped at an auto parts store, and I got me a fuel line to replace the one that was 44 years old for uh, two dollars. Simple fix. I went to Greenville to a marine store and got the original part for that 44-year-old outboard motor to replace the coil and the spark plug wire. Wow. Everything cost me under $30. Under $25. Wow. But see, I was allowed all these things to be put on me by the enemy. The enemy speaks to your mind. Say so. It's got to go through your mind to get to your heart. Preach it, it can only get to the heart if you let it get there. Uh -huh. And so all this, and so all the, everything we face in life, day in and day out, on our jobs, in, uh, with our neighbors, or whoever it might be, amen, all this stuff has been filtered into us, amen, and the enemies are right there on your shoulder, or my shoulder, just talking away. Say so. And adding more Use weight. Use more things. Use more you notice I'm leaning forward a little bit because if I stand up straight, I'll probably fall back. That thing he said, man, he can come up that way. Wink. I can even jump. Oh, Jesus, help me. 
and they look, who did they hear there? So they ask me to bring, they cause me to bring hard enough what I normally would drink because of the extra weight. Psalm 55 22 says, King James Version, cast thy burden upon the Lord and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. The amplified version of that same scripture. Cast your burden on the Lord, releasing the weight of it. And he will sustain you. He will never allow the righteous to be moved, made to slip or fall or fail. If we fail, if I fail, it's because I fail. But if I keep my trust in him, I won't fail, praise God. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I didn't say anything out of, out of the way in front of my neighbor. He's, he, uh, I'm not going to call his name anyway. Pray, pray, for, him. pray for my neighbor. That's all I can say. Okay, pray for my neighbor. But all I'm saying is I was frustrated. I'm going to tell you exactly what I said. I'm going to fix this mother up and sell it off. Get rid of all my fishing equipment. Hey, I don't fish no more. And you know why he came back with me? And he don't know Jesus. If you do that, you'll quit. You're supposed to quit. In my heart, I said, Lord, forgive me. <laughs> Amen? Amen? I said, Lord, forgive me, praise God. Right. How many times have you told the Lord you're going to quit? <laughs> Think about it. Yeah. How many times have you said, God, I, I, what's the use? We've had a, I've had a very, very, very busy day. A good day, but a very, very, very busy day. Yeah. I've been going since 4 a.m. this morning, and it's almost 9 p.m. on a Thursday evening, Eastern Standard Time in North Carolina. But guess what? I don't feel tired, pastors. We've got two pastors in the church. I don't feel tired. I'm at, now, on the way home, I might, I might get a little tired. Uh, I've got Sister Carol to keep me, keep me awake. Yes, lay home, praise God. Yes, Amen. But any, well, well, what I'm saying is, the Lord's got a way of refreshing you. How many times have you heard the overseer of this ministry make a comment, Amen, I was tired when I came into church, but now I, I feel refreshed. I feel refreshed, yes. God refreshes us, Amen. Yes. He, refreshes. he gives us the strength that we need to continue on in Him, glory to God. Matthew eleven twenty eight 28 through 30 says, Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He will give you rest. He gives me rest, praise God. Come unto me, he says. That's what, she, that's what these are the words of Jesus Christ. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Yes. Amen. No, I don't want to carry this weight the rest of my life. So that weight that you're carrying, why don't you release it? I handed this to my wife the other day, and she couldn't even pick it up. It ain't 25 pounds. She said, ain't no way. And she was sitting down with me, so I handed it to her. It's full of tools, is what's in there. So when we come to God, who says, God, I'm going to give you that way. God, yes, I'm going to give you this one too. Yes, Lord. And God, I might even give you this one. Yes, Lord. But God, this thing I've been carrying for 30 years. It's hard for me to forgive them. Now, this bag is a whole lot lighter. But it still would hinder me running with that bag. But God, I 
Do I really need to give this up to them? Okay, God. You can have that. But this one life item, I'm going to keep it. It's not as heavy as that one, but it's still heavy. 45 pounds. God wants you and he wants me in our full potential. Amen. 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 We can't do our best until those weights are released. Amen. And I can't take the weights off of you. But I can pray for you. Yes. So when you says, God, take it away from me, God. Release me. Amen. Release. Set me free. Hey, I can really jump down. Yes. <laughs> I can really run now, praise God. And I can do all this and not breathe near as hard as I was my mother. Why? Because I released the weights. Thank you, Jesus. I turned it loose. Yes. Yes. Right. You did run well. But what hindered you? Come on. Galatians 5 7. You were running a great race. But something got in your way. What was it? Give it to God. Let God have it. Yes, So you can get back in the race. And run arm in arm with me. Praise God. Yes, And I can run arm in arm with you. Praise God. I don't have to look back there and watch you go to. <laughs> because you haven't released those weights. Come on, man. That's right. Preach it. Turn loose. Preach it. Let God have it. Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Everyone under my, the sound of my voice, live or video, I pray, God, that you allow them to release. Yes, Lord. Have your Jesus. Turn loose. Have your way, Jesus. Mm. All those tears that's weighing them down. Yes. And as 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7 says, casting all your cares. God, you care for them more than I or anyone else could. Yes, Lord. Because you. you died for them. Yes, sir. You gave your life for them. Yes, Lord. You spilt your blood for them, God. Yes, Lord. And you want them to be free, 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 uh -huh. free, God. Amen. And you can Amen. set them free with whatever's going on in their life right now, God. Regardless of the hurt that took place 40, 50 years ago, or 10 years ago, or even today, God, you can release it, oh God, from them in Jesus' mighty name. Yes. I pray, God. Let it be done, God. Yes, in your name I pray. Amen, 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 and amen. Amen, amen. God bless you. Tonight. Hallelujah. Awesome. Hallelujah. Awesome.